Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous evening in the summertime garden. Um, tonight we're going to be playing with a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas. And I am using the same colors that I used in my last pour in Frangipani. The sandwich pour that we did, the sandwich grenades. The double decker sandwich grenade. <laughs> because I'm not quite done playing with those yet. Um, I will go over them real quick for you again. This one is Golden's Pyro Orange. And this one is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep. Mm -hmm. and this one is Golden's Quinacridone Violet. Mm -hmm. And this one is Pevio Studios Iridescent Copper. Beautiful stuff. Everything is mixed with mixed pour. Nice and thick. That's the copper. And then we have Amsterdam Titanium White. I have two cups of this. So, in the last one, Frangipani, and the one before that, the Hawksbill one with like the turtle colors, um, I was playing with the sandwich with the grenade. And when I wanted to do Hawksbill, my initial thought process was to do two sandwich pours to use the Wandering Straight Pour like my friend Fiona does. But we didn't quite get that to happen. So, tonight we are using a 24 ounce split cup. That's a two chamber split cup. And we're going to layer it in a kind of a different way still with that sandwich pour in mind i want to use slightly bigger layers of white than normal and slightly smaller layers of colors than normal so i'm still going to be layering the cup but i'm going to use that sandwich style with a little bit more white and see if it gives us some more areas of interest so to that end let's layer our cup now i want to layer opposite so i want to do this one in one order and then on this side i want to do the opposite order so let's go ahead and take out the paints and put them in the order we want them in. So I'm going to start with that one, and then the orange, and then the yellow, and then the copper. Is that how I want it? Copper. I think I like that better. Yeah? What do you think, H.A.U.? Alright, so we're going to start with a little bit of white. And then we're going to put some copper in. So I'm going to go in this order, going this way, and then in the opposite order for the other side. So I encourage you guys, when you get a split cup, and it's fill it up with water, and then pour the water into a measuring cup so you know exactly how many ounces it holds. Each side of this one is 12 ounces. Twenty-four ounces is a lot for that size cup. No, that needs twenty-five and a half ounces. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go opposite way. So we're going to start with white, also. layer of copper. Okay, very full cup, that's fine. 
So, um, one of the things that I did differently in Frangipani was I actually put down a base coat before I flipped my cups, and that seemed to work really, really well. I did not actually prepare a base coat flow extender, so we're going to use just some of these paints. Um, I think I'm going to put down kind of a runway. So I'm going to start with orange. I'm going to pour into this. basic idea. All right, I'm excited about this one. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? We're gonna start over here. And we're gonna do this in that beautiful Fiona style, straight pour from up high with a lot of twists and turns to hopefully give us some more of those beautiful wispy bits that I like so much. Okay. I'm going to start over here. Don't start right on the edge because you're going to lose it. So start a couple of inches in. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? All right, lass. I am ready. Here we go. That's pretty cool. I love this right there. That's awesome. Okay. Um, I'm going to go around this in a few places. Because there's some parts I don't want to lose. Like I don't want to lose that part. So in terms of what I like the most and what I want to keep, it's definitely all through here. I don't know about this part, but this is beautiful. This part can move around, that part can move around. Okay, let's, um, let's go that way first. over here.
Okay. That's really cool. Yeah. Why am I doing that each way? So it slides without changing the composition. It doesn't roll over itself. Oh, so we lose this instead of the cool stuff. Exactly. You might as well be a pop quiz on this one, huh? That's the flying colors. Okay. Let's take that off. some of the color that's like this.
I'm not going to stress that about one corner. <laughs> I like what's happening here. There's just one other little thing I need to correct. What do you think, HOA? Oh, I think it looks really, really cool. Yeah. I like it. Me too. Let's torch it. Again, it's still wet. I this one starship because it reminds me of like a rocket, the rocket thrust uh, coming out of the I have window. a question for you, Hway. Yes. This part. If I take that off and open this all up a little bit mm -hmm. more. I think that would be a good idea. Think so. right, let's see where the way the paint is if it's even possible. It probably can. Because it doesn't change the lines. Mm -hmm. We might put a little bit more curve in that side, which I'm also okay with. That's cool. Oh. There's still some on there, but I don't want to take care of too much. I think that helped a lot. Pretty cool. I like it. Very cool. Okay, so this is pretty fun. Uh, I'm gonna go wash my split cup, <laughs> and uh, I will show you guys when this is dry. Look how cool is it is right like in here. That's the yellow and the white mixing, and this is really pretty. And this whole thing is really pretty. It's cool. I like it. Awesome. We'll be right back. days later. It is totally dry now. I am so happy with this piece. I love how it turned out. I love these colors and the composition is just very soft and flowy but beautiful. There's a lot of movement in there. Really powerful colors. I love that pyro orange and the cadmium yellow against the quinacridone violet. It's just so pretty. Beautiful detail in here dried so nicely. A little bit of the copper showing through up in here. Subtle. Kind of elegant though. I think of this one. I just love this. That's so cool. Like lightning. <laughs> There's a little bit of cells in here. Very, very pretty. I love this bottom sort of gradient we have going on. Really, really cool. I like this one a lot. So this turned out awesome. I'm very, very happy with it. HOA called it a starship. <laughs> so I think we're going to go with starship for our title. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and uh, the notification bell so you get notified whenever we post new stuff. Um, this was awesome. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you later. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye. So I just brought it inside <laughs> laughing because outside I was saying I couldn't see the copper at all.
I totally see the copper in here. <laughs> bling, bling. So that's pretty neat. Happy surprise. 